Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kristana. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back friends and family. I got another cute little family member to, to introduce you guys to today. This is Stanley and he is the other little puppy that we got. They are five, why is that funny? They are five months old. They'll be six months old on the 17th. And so Stanley is definitely my children's dog. I mean, he's my dog. Stanley is sweet. He is also a puggle. He doesn't have the typical mask on him and he's much smaller than Rupert. So he is, they've kept me really busy the last however many months that I've had them because again, like I said, we lost Cannon, but they're filling our hearts up. So today I'm going to be doing this hutch back here. And I brought this hutch back from Germany. Hi, Rupert. And here's Roop. <laughs> he wants to say hi. Here's Rupert. Say hi. And so um, I brought this back from Germany and it has glass on each side and it had glass shelves. And so I'm going to replace the glass on the sides because one side broke during the move and I'm gonna replace it with wood. So I'm gonna show you guys that in the video. And then also I'm going to probably put wooden shelves just because I don't trust the fact that we've got these puppies who fight each other. Stop it, stop it. And I have two small kids. And so I am going to keep this piece, but I am going to be making it colorful and it's going to go upstairs in my house. I'm going to do this piece for myself. And if you guys want to see that, just stay here. Come here, boys. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Puppies are so cute. And naughty. And naughty. <laughs> All right, stay here. The first thing that I did was remove the glass paneling. So it broke during our move, but to be honest, there's glass paneling all over. There were glass shelves and I just, it's too much, too much glass for me. And I don't trust that my kids or my puppies aren't gonna do something. So I removed all of that. And what I did is I went to Lowe's and I got a plywood, a very thin plywood. It's about a quarter of an inch and I cut that to size. And this one is a maple. So I wanted to get a good plywood that was gonna be hard, that was going to be smooth for the side of it. So I cut these to size with my circular saw and then I fit them in place. So there is a little groove on the sides where this wood will go down. So if you see me with my mallet, what I'm doing is I am just gently tapping that with another piece of wood into that groove until it all fits. I did end up taking my staple gun, my pneumatic staple gun, and I stapled those from the inside. But when you are trying to push any kind of wood into a divot, you want to make sure that you are using another piece of wood to pound it down because you don't want to damage the wood. So this was a really easy fix. If you don't like wood paneling or something breaks, you can always do this. Again, it also allows me to create a little bit more color on the piece because there was so much glass. process for the bottom and the top is exactly the same. So I'm going to walk you through the bottom. This is the color Espresso by Pink Couture and I'm going to mix some salt wash and I'm going to do a base coat of some texture with this brown. So that way when I do my resist on here, it's going to, when I scrape back, it's going to show just brown specks. So I added this on the entire piece and allowed it to fully dry. This was out in the sun so it fully dried, but I did wanna show you something. So if you still have wet paint, you can just go ahead and put your resist or your salt wash or whatever the texture additive is that you're going to use. But I wanted to show you that you can spritz it with some water and then put your texture additive on. And then what I do is I go through and I spray it again with water and I allow it to completely dry. 
for hours, if not overnight, before I go in with another paint color. I'm gonna use DIY paint for the rest of this and the color for my base is mint chip. So when you do this, you wanna make sure that everything's fully dry because some of this texture additive may come off and so you wanna make sure that you're pouring your paint into another container so that way you're not getting your texture additive into your paint. I am really enjoying using DIY paint. It's a clay-based paint, but it's perfect for layering and getting colorful finishes. It's highly pigmented, and I'm just really, really enjoying using it for artistic finishes. I am also using a brush that I just came out with, and it is called the Happy Creating Brush, and it's from the Bella Renovare brush line. And so this is something that I am super proud of. But the next step after the mint chip is completely dried, we're going to repeat that process of the resist. And so I'm just spritzing it so that we can put that texture additive. And then I'm going to lay down the texture. So now what is this? People ask me all the time, what is this doing? So later on when we scrape it back, the texture that we put on top of the brown, the espresso is gonna pull back and we're gonna be able to see that. And then this texture that we put on mint chip is gonna be able to show through. And so we're gonna see that mint chip and that espresso come through. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is add colors on top. So we're starting to layer and we're starting to do our blending. And so I'm using Bohemian Blue by DIY and I'm just taking a little bit of water and I'm spritzing it so that way I can kind of pull the color a little bit more. It is so highly pigmented that it's pretty dark when you put it on. And then what I'm doing is spritzing the water so that I can kind of spread it. I don't need full coverage on here because this is gonna be kind of a rustic layered boho piece. So I am just putting the Bohemian Blue all on the bottom of the piece first. And then we're gonna go in with the mint chip and I am just gonna go over top of it because we're going to blend that Bohemian Blue into the mint chip for now. And so I'm just adding wet paint to that transition line so that way when we go in and start blending, we're gonna be able to pull it up and it's gonna turn into a light blue and we're gonna be able to just blend it. So I'm just lightly going over it with the mint chip. Once I have added the mint chip, I'm going to spray the piece and I'm going to take my other brush, which is called the Cristana brush. And this is something I love using for blending. And I'm just doing circles. I'm gonna do diagonal, horizontal, and this is going to blend these colors together beautifully. And what I'm wanting to do is take that Bohemian Blue and pull it up into the mint chip so that we've got the dark blues, the mint chips, the light blues. And then we're gonna go over with another color, but right now what we're doing is just kind of smoothing everything out and blending it. The next color we're going to be using is called Cowgirl Coral. And so we're going to put that on the top and it looks like it's pretty bright when we first put it on, but we're going to blend it down into the blues and then we're going to do something in a little bit that I'm gonna show you. But this is gonna be perfect. So these blues and this mint and the greens and the blues and the reds and the pinks, all the, the colors that these three make is just really, really great. So we're going to put the cowgirl coral all the way on the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Cristana brush again and we're going to spritz it and we're going to blend that cowgirl coral down into the mint chip and into that blue. And you can see how the cowgirl coral is gonna almost go over top of some of the blues. So we're almost blending and layering all in one.
I want to expose some of the colors underneath and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my water bottle this is just water and I'm going to spray pretty close to the piece so that I can create a drip and what this is going to do is this is going to pull up and show that mint chip underneath I'm taking a shop rag and I am just dabbing all over the piece so that way we can expose those colors underneath so I did the bohemian blue up there and you can see now when I do the dabbing of the rag, it's gonna show the bohemian blue coming through that cowgirl coral. And I am going to do this on the entire piece. This is gonna allow me to pull layers and it's gonna give it more of an authentic worn look. If you haven't been wondering, but maybe you have, I will address it. When do we scrape off all of the texture additive that we put on? And is this messing it up because we're spraying water and putting over it? We're going to do that once this fully dries and no, it doesn't mess it up. It just adds even more character. So the next step is to wait for it to fully dry. And then we go in, I use my carbide scraper and I am going to scrape all those areas with the resist and it's going to add just another layer of dimension and character and I do push down a little bit harder in some places so that I can expose the wood but after this what I do is I just take a brush or a dry rag dust it all off and then I go in and I seal it Sounds really wild to say that sealing is one of my favorite parts, but when I'm using clay paint, it really is. So you can see how once you seal it, look at how it just makes it look so rich. It just brings those colors out. So clay-based paints generally lighten up quite a bit once they're dry, and then it makes it so worth it when you go in and you seal it, and it just brings all that color out. So again, what I said before is the technique that I used on the bottom here is exactly what I did on the top. I did the same exact thing on the top and I didn't want to show you guys again because we're repeating the process. So this piece is done. I have put it upstairs. I'm going to show you here in a second. I have not put shelves back in because I'm not sure if I want to put the glass or wood. So it's just kind of sitting there for now, but I just love this piece. I hope you guys love it too. been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out of town see the beautiful world around won't see it now pack our bags and get in that car Get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty 